Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Oscar, and today, um, the review that we're doing is kind of small, so I decided to go here, uh, back to the, uh, the little small desk with the lamp, um, because the review is pretty small, and I was like, you know what, I might as well just do it. Um, so yeah, so today we're gonna be, oh, today we're gonna be reviewing the Transformers, uh, Studio Series Deluxe Class 74, I believe, yeah, I think 74. Deluxe Class Bumblebee. Now, um, this Bumblebee is pretty good. Like I was saying, uh, this is the, another Bumblebee released and he just wants to roll away because he doesn't want to be seen. So yeah, uh, this is Bumblebee and this is the accessories that he comes with. So let's take a closer look at that. So the first accessory that he comes with that I thought it was pretty exciting. So he comes with a little minifigure of Sam with Wiki um, in a running position. Uh, I think this one's pretty cool. I think this is the Dark of the Moon. Um, uh, I'm sorry guys about my sister. Anyway, um, yeah, like I was saying, I think this is the Samwood Wiki from Dark of the Moon. Um, or possibly Revenge of the Fallen. I, I don't know. Um, it's pretty cool design. I pretty do like it. I, I think I pretty do like the details on it. Um, you know, like the skin color and, you know, everything. The base. Uh, it kind of looks like uh, uh, they're starting to release humans now in this position. Like we got with the Shockwave with the Parachute Man. Um, but yeah, um, this is a pretty cool sandwich wiki with no face. But yeah, um, I pretty do like him. I pretty do like him. And uh, that is it for sandwich wiki. And the next um, thing that he comes with is this this gun. Let's take a close look at the gun. It, um, I gotta say, um, I don't know. I, I it looks pretty. Um, it looks pretty, I guess, accurate, but I wish it was a little more painted, not black. But there's a little handle where Bumblebee can hold it. But yeah, it's still pretty cool. You can see, like, it looks like the the main one looks like the driller. Looks like the driller said. Actually, I actually hope that uh, Hasbro makes a driller of Studio Series. Um, it would be pretty cool with the shockwave. But yeah, um, yeah, that's Bumblebee's gun and that's the accessories what that comes with it. And before I get into Bumblebee, I just want to say that I did have this Bumblebee. Let me zoom out a little quick. Uh, I did have this Bumblebee figure for a long time, ever since I did the Five Nights at Freddy's figures reviews. Um, I had him, but I decided to wait um, on him because I was kind of wasn't ready for it. But now I'm ready, so let's go ahead and review this guy. So let's take a closer look at Bumblebee. I'm going to move the accessories at this corner. I'm, let's take a closer look at Bumblebee now. So again, uh, this is Bumblebee. Um, we first saw his Camaro. I guess we got uh, his Camaros from uh, what do you say? Um, from uh, the first Transformers movie and the Bumblebee movie. He was a bug Volkswagen, I think. And the Camaro that he had was like a old one, and this is the new one. So yeah, uh, I like it why how Michael Bay just like you know um, designs his cars. Well, not designs them, but actually adds. Like, you know, thinks about, you know, the characters. But here's the back side of the car with the red lights. There's the side. There's the front. The top. You can see the mirrors and all that. Transparent mirrors. And there's the other side of it. I don't want to show you too much of it. Um, there's the wheels. As you guys can see. Now, this figure, uh, 74, came out after Grindor did. So, yeah, I can see... Oh, uh, why? Uh, one quick comparison, real quick, uh, and I'll show it into robot mode. It, into robot mode, but here he is, right next to uh, Voyager class, a uh, rampage, and he's so dusty because I left him on a shelf. Look how, look, look how, look, look how dusty it is. Look how dusty it is for being on my shelf for too long. But anyway, here he is, right next to Rampage. And I could say, um, he looks pretty awesome right next to him. Oops, uh, like, um, like in, in the movie, in the Revenge of the Fallen, they both battled in the desert scene. So yeah, um, you can see them, size, difference, you know, and they're the same with Mickey right next to it, but yeah, that's pretty cool. I'll show that in, uh, Robot Moto later on. Uh, here he is right next to Scrap Metal, both deluxes here. Uh, I think they use the different shade of yellow. 
And for one more comparison, here he is right next to Hightower. You guys can see Hightower being a little bit bigger and bulkier. So yeah, that was that. Now, there's nothing else to the Camaro. It's pretty small, you know, size Camaro. Nothing else. It's just that. Now I'm going to get to the worry part. Well, I'm not worried, but now um, let's go ahead and get him in. And le now let's go ahead and into the transformation. Now to begin the transformation, um, you just want to come here to the doors and you want to kind of unpeg these sections. Um, unpeg it with this one too. And you want to peg the doors here. It takes a little bit of effort. Mine, on my copy, it's like it pegs in very tight and it kind of a struggle. It makes me feel like a break. Okay, there we go. Um, like the doors and spread out to the side like any human being would open a door. Of a car, again, to this side. I'll peg a door right here, right here, like that. Spread out to the side and it'll make it look like wings. Next step, you uh, want to come over to the, uh, let's see, you want to come over to the roof and you want to like unpeg everything right here and you want to bring these uh, pieces, the uh, little flaps down and you want to kind of just, um, kind of want to unpeg these wheel sections here, right here. You just want to unpeg them and just leave them off to the side and then you kind of want to just um, take the feet sections and just spread them apart like that and come over to the feet and you want to take one of the legs here you move that piece off to the side you you actually want to see if I can do this appropriately. you actually want to kind of take the leg section you want to hinge it down uh, you just kind of uh, actually, never mind. We'll, we'll do that. I'll try to figure it out. You do that. Uh, you'll do that later. Um, you just want to focus on these pieces. You bring these pieces down, and you just bring this whole section up, like on the back. You just bring this. You just hinge this back, and you want to bring out the arms. So you want to take the arms, and you just want to spread them out. It's kind of hard to do, but you know, just spread them. Just leave them out like that, and just. That you can select this little auto morph where this connects. Um, now you want to kind of bring bring these sections out and then bring this arm up. So let me show you. So right in here, these little yellow giblets with this, um, it I kind of sound a little weird. It connects to the arm, so you want to bring that up like that. You want to bring it all the way up. You want to bring this this. Uh, piece down and you want to bring it up all the way to the arm and you just want to and now it's arm now do the same do the same here just bring this up just kind of move everything out to the side just bring this up and then like that and you just want to leave it like that and then bring this crutch piece down bring the chest piece uh, down and uh, bring the chest piece down and you want to move these bits uh, like that and you want to push them closer together like that and it'll make a good chest piece then after that you want to again come over to uh, the the legs and you want to kind of just move these pieces out of the way because it'll kind of disturb you uh now let me see if I can move to the side. Okay, um, let me see. Um, you kind of want to rotate the foot. Okay, there we go. We rotate the foot and bring this down. And then you want to push this with... Uh, wait, hold up. Oh, wait. Um, you want to bring... Uh, take these knee pads and pieces and just spread them out. Because I'll become his knee pads. And then hinge this out like so. And then you kind of want to... So you want to push this in. Oh my god, the giant push that in and you just want to keep it there. And you want to bring this mirror piece and you just want to close it. Oh wait. Uh you want to spread uh, take the knee pad and rotate it around like so. I think that's how you do it. Oh wait, yeah. Just push it 
all the way back like that and then now it will allow you to bring the mirror thing there there we go and uh, do the same here with the leg move this piece off to the side and kind of rotate this off and then rotate this and then peg this in there we go uh, rotate this around put the mirror um, put the mirror thing in there and then push this uh, black piece here okay there we go then there's bumblebee's legs well not technically well how I'll, I'll explain a little bit now take the backpack and you just fold this fold this roof and then fold that and then hinge it underneath here this this whole section just comes down and then you just want to do kind of just oh bring these pieces down like so bring these pieces down and now what you want to do is you want to rotate his body so let me give you this so you want to rotate his waist around where you can see his crotch piece oops hold up give me a minute i did something wrong so make sure to tuck that chest piece in and then you can tuck this under like that and then now you can rotate the legs around like so like that to close these pieces in to make it look like armor or i don't know part of the body a bumblebee and then just close it in this foot doesn't like to peg in that much neither does this neither does this one but it still kind of works though even though it doesn't peg in all the way and you just want to kind of stand them up oh take these like armor pieces just spread them out on the arms they'll give it a little more depth but uh, once you're done there you have uh revenge of the fallen studio series bumblebee in his robot mode now i gotta say that this was one of the coolest um body sculpts of a bumblebee i've ever seen um now the last bumblebee we got um i think all i think had the battle mask on i wish uh I, I think it was 49 i think 49 bumblebee he had the battle mask on and i think they re-released i think they re-released this bumblebee just so it can come with a Sam figure. I think that's why. And I wish Hasbro released a Bumblebee with the same body sculpt without the battle mask. That would just be really, really awesome. It's just a shame that we couldn't get that. Um, Just one moment. I actually got to charge my phone because it's going to die. And I don't want the camera going off. But um, I'll just leave it here and I'll come back with you guys. Okay, guys. I got my phone charged. You guys can see the little wire running there. But I got it charged. So on to the review. So like I was saying, Hasbro should release a, a Bumblebee with the without the battle mask on, and uh, it would look very uh, much much nicer in this design. Um, now the Bumblebee looks pretty awesome. I just kind of like his head sculpt with the battle mask on. You can see the little Autobot symbol there, there, and you can see the chest piece looks very nice. I think it's plugged in all the way. Is it pegged in? I think so. So you can see the chest piece here, and there are the arms, and there's a crutch piece where he uses to pee on Lennox in the first movie. And there are the feet, the Bumblebee feet with the weird, I'm not a big fan of these great things sticking out, kind of looks make it look weird, but it's still okay. Um, I still like it. And moving on top, um, I just want to say with the doors like that, it makes him look like he has wings, like it looks like he's a Bumblebee, like an actual bee. It's just very crazy. And uh, details on its side and just very cool. You can see the, the arms look really nice on here. With the silver paint. Gotta love it. And you can see the detailing in there. And the ridges and the mask. And you can, or the helmet. And you can see the, we caught the little pieces here. You can see the, the legs on the black looks really nice. The, the detailing in the kneecaps. And uh, there's the back of the car again. And there's the side, the back. Looks pretty neat. And uh, yeah, the back of this Bumblebee looks kind of accurate. He did have wheels on the back. But it, it looks pretty accurate. And uh, all I gotta say is... It's just very nice to have a Bumblebee in the collection. 
Um, now, here's a comparison with right next to Sam with Wiki, and you can see the big size difference. Um, you can see uh, Bumblebee was this big in the in the movie. Well, he was, you know, again, and then with the lamp, he he shines like he shines like bright orange instead of yellow. It looks like it looks like he's like it looks like he's burning. But anyway, um, here, I'm gonna do a comparison real quick. I'm gonna compare them against. Uh, I'll do a comparison uh, with Rampage. Uh, I just had to quickly transform him, and I'll be right back with you guys. Now, with the quick uh, size comparison with Rampage, I'm gonna quickly move Sam to the side. Oops. Uh, here he is, right next to Rampage. Um, now I have to hold him up. Uh, apparently, I lost the stand for Rampage, so now I have to. Uh, maybe I can leave him against the wall. I think. Uh, I think so. Yeah. So, oops. Okay, so yeah, there's Rampage right next to Bumblebee, and... Oh yeah, Rampage was bigger than Bumblebee in the movie. I thought he was the same size, but yeah. Are you, I guess you can, like, you know, have these two battle it out. Um, unfortunately, I was going to show the box in the video for the Bumblebee, but unfortunately, I lost the box, and I also lost the display stand, which was the desert version. Um, but yeah, uh, that was the desert version. Well, like, the desert battle scene, I should say. But, uh, yeah, that's the Bumblebee with the net right next to Rampage. And I gotta say, they both look cool together. Um, Rampage is being really big, but they both put up a fight. And it's just very nice. I really do. I, I actually enjoyed the fight scene. And, uh, yeah. And I think I might be getting the other Rampage, uh, the variant, which was called the yellow one. It was, uh, uh, skip chop, I think. Uh, skip jack, I think it was. Yeah, skip jack, I think. Uh, that that rampage was called. But I'm gonna move rampage off to the side. And uh, so yeah, the and there is Mumbi. And before we do something else, um, I want to show him the gun, the gun for Bumblebee. And you can put it on either side of your hand. Another side of hand is up to your choice. But you take this handle and you put it in his. In his hand. I'm going to put it on in this hand. And there is Bumblebee with his gun. And it looks like he's holding it. Not with his actual gun. But look you go. Pew, and then go. Pew, go, pew, go, pew, and all that. So yeah that was Bumblebee with a gun. And now we're going to move on to the articulation to this figure. Now going for the articulation on Bumblebee. Um, now first starting off with the head. Uh, you can move it. It's on a ball joint. You can move it left and right. Unfortunately. You can't move it. You can't move it left and up. I mean, up and down because of the thing on the back of his head. But you can still moving left to right. Uh, now the arms are on a ball joint. You can get them out. You can swivel them back. Um, unfortunately, you can't get them back all that much because of the thing that's blocking again. And you can also swivel um, the the knee. Uh, I mean, the elbows, and you can bend them like so. And no hands articulation. Um, he has um, waist articulation. You can move it side to side, and he has ball jointed legs. And I think his knees can bend. I, I I don't know. Yes, his knees can bend, like so. And he has no foot rotation. So yeah, um, a very nice articulation. Uh, not that great, but still very good uh, for a deluxe class figure. Um, but uh, yeah, I think that was Bumblebee. And now, that was it. Now, uh, to transform him back to his Camaro mode, it's actually pretty simple. Um, transforming him back to his uh, to his robot mode is actually pretty hard, but kind of hard. It's just a little bit squidgy, midgy. But to transform him back to his car mode, it's it's pretty simple. So first, what you want to do is you want to come back to the side and you want to take these pieces. Oops! You want to take these pieces and you want to lift them up like so. And now you want to come to the legs, and you want to repeat the same process, but just reversed. So you just want to take the foot, and you want to hinge it down, and then you want to push it all the way to the end. It's kind of hard for me, because I had to push it, and it's very... Okay, there. It's smoother. There we go. Just kind of like that. Or you can just, like, wedge it. Uh, do the same here with the foot. Just unpeg it, and then... Bring it here. Like so. Ah, you just want to... 
just kind of want to... Okay, you just kind of want to do this. You just kind of want to inject it all the way here like so. Okay, like that. And you can go ahead and... Oh, let's see. Uh, let's work here on the... Yeah, we're still working on the legs. Take the, the these pieces of the glass or the mirrors and just... Or the windshield, I should say, and, take, and just spread these out. Like so they don't peg into anything, but you're good. Well, although they do slide in these slots though, but it's not that hard. And then you want to um peg here and then you wanna rotate kinda wanna and you wanna bring this foot over here and it will connect with this one. So it'll connect with that one and then you'll be able to bring it over here on the all the way to the back. Oh, and then take the backpack section and just unfold it like so. So it doesn't. this doesn't get in the way when the feet are coming in. And you want to uh, take this and just spread it out. Take this kneecap and rotate it upside down like so. Do the same here. Take this and connect it with the other one so you can put it up. Take this and uh, what do you call it? Spread it. Oops. Spread it in like so. Ooh. Huh? Wait. Wait, something's wrong. Wait. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on, something's wrong. Hold up. Oh. Wait, did I do something wrong? Because the legs are backwards. I think I did something wrong. Uh, was I supposed to... Oh, I think I might have switched it to the wrong side. Ooh. Hold on, I'll be right back. Oh, guys, I know what I did wrong. So apparently you have to rotate the waist. I forgot. God dang, I forgot. So you have to rotate the waist again. You have to rotate. Shoot. You have to rotate the waist and then you have to rotate the knees or the legs. I forgot to do that. I, I'm I'm sorry, guys. I'm very I'm very sorry for the inconvenience. But just move those pieces out of the way and you rotate that. I am very sorry, guys. I forgot that step. Oh my god. You know, normally when I transform transformers, I don't always forget the steps. Okay, there we go. Now there we go. I see the problem. Okay. Oops. Oopsie. 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 Hold up. Let me just uh this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, hold on. Let me fix this piece real quick because it's not. Give me a minute. I'm gonna rotate it uh, counter. I'm gonna rotate it counter clock. I'm gonna rotate it counterclockwise so that way the piece uh, doesn't get in the way. And uh, I just moved. Ah, oh, and the leg popped off. Well, that's not good. Well, at least it'll be easy to rotate it. And uh. And you remember... Oh, uh, one more thing is, did you guys watch Spider-Man No Way Home? Because I did, it was pretty good. So, uh, this goes in here, right? Oh, wait, no, I'm supposed to rotate the piece around first before I do anything. So let me just... Wait, let me peg this in real quick. Oh, let me, let me fix it, guys. Okay, guys, so I finally fixed it. There it is. I fixed it finally. Oh, jeez. That was hard. So anyway, uh, to continue, um, you want to take these pieces and you want to just tap them in here in these little holes here. You just want to take this piece and you want to tap it in. And that will be part of the car. And then now you want to tap. Oops. Now you want to tap in. Hold on. Before you do that, you have to tuck in this. Tuck in these. And then you now you can. Oopsie. Hold up. Hold up, something's wrong. Again! Ugh, I'm getting really exhausted with this. Yeah, that, that's what you're supposed to do, right? Like, rotate it around and crap. Not take this piece and block it. Alright, I just peg this in. Okay, I think, yeah, something is wrong. I think I also did something wrong here, because this doesn't want to... 
again. I'll be right back. Okay, now, again. So, uh, I finally figured it out. Take these, uh, you just have to tuck it in there and take these pieces and you just, uh, just tab them in here. Tab, a, tab this together. Uh, like that. And that shouldn't be a big of a problem. Wait, again? Jesus. I am about to rage quit. This was never hard when I was transforming Bumblebee, guys. I absolutely apologize for um, this happening. Um, I never meant for this to happen, but you have to kind of peg these together. And the crotch piece is just blocking it. Um, I think you just have to... I think it has something to do with this. Hold up, give me a minute. Yeah, what is wrong with this crap? Hold up, I mean, I think hinges these down just a little bit. Oh, so, yeah, you have to hinge that down. You have to hinge these down so you can make clearance for that. So, yeah, now, now peg it in, and there we go. Now we're talking. Okay, so once you're done with that, you work here on the top. You take this piece and you bring it down. And then you take this, and then you just kind of want to um, tab it here. There we go. And then lift it up like that. And then you just want to bring uh, these all the way to the side. Uh, like so. And then bring, oh, bring the arms down again. Again, take these yellow things and bring them down. And like that. Like so. Like that. And there we go. And and uh, just kind of wrote, just kind of bring this whole section together. Oh, you just lift this up, and then this will bring. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, you just want to take this and you just want to kind of peg it in. Well, tuck it inside, I should say. Oopsie. Oh, wait, wait a minute. And uh, just uh, do that and t tuck it in. And there we go. And there you go. You can flush and now take these side pieces and just line them up with the front of the car like so they should groove in and then take the uh the wheel pieces and just tab them in here like so uh, just kind of want to like so and they will easily slide in, slide in, tap this back in here, like so, like so, like that, and there we go. Now take the arms and you kind of want to leave them like that and then rotate these all the way to upside down like that where they're facing up and then just tuck them in here I just tuck it in there Ooh, like that so and there and now the final step where we started you close the doors and tab them in to the exact same Boss. Oh, leave that on top. And uh, they, they tab into the side, so just make sure to do that. And then do the same here. Tap them in. Like so. And, uh... Oh, there we go. 
tap it in. There we go. Everything's tapped in. Whew, and there we have them. And there we have uh, Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen, Bumblebee. I think I said Dark of the Moon. No, it was Bumblebee. Yeah. So yeah, that was uh, Bumblebee from Revenge of the Fallen. Um, that was pretty cool. Not gonna lie, uh, I messed up on the transformations. I forgot the steps. I'm sorry. In my um, of uh, me of doing this, I never for, ever forgot a transformation for a transformer till this day. So yeah, uh, that was uh, the trans. Uh, that was uh, Revenge of the Fallen Bum uh, Studio Series Bumblebee with Sam Woodwakey. So yeah, um, uh, that was it. So yeah, thank uh, thank you. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to turn on post notifications so you guys don't miss a new video every time it comes out. Share with your friends. Subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.